If you ever find out that you've bricked your Redmi Note 3 and Redmi Note 3 Pro, or maybe you just need to install a new firmware onto the device, you will need to know how to boot into EDL mode. EDL stands for Emergency Download Mode. And to do this, we first need to install the proper drivers onto your computer. If you look down into the description below this video, you will see a link to the full tutorial that I have written for this guide. And in that tutorial, I include links to everything you need to finish this tutorial. Once you have installed the Mi PC Suite, I recommend you go ahead and reboot your computer so that the drivers can fully take effect. And while your computer is rebooting, we can go ahead and enable USB debugging mode. To do that, we need to first enable developer mode. So we need to launch the settings tap on about phone and then you're going to tap on the me version option about seven to ten times until it says that you are a developer then you'll need to go back into the settings and go into additional settings option scroll down into you you see developer options and then you're going to see the USB debugging mode Just turn that on, confirm, and that will enable USB debugging for the Redmi Note 3 Pro. Now to complete this you will also need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed. If you're unclear of how to do this again, please check the description below the video and look at the full tutorial as I will have links to all of that in the written guide. Once you have that installed, go ahead and browse to, go ahead and open up a command prompt and browse to where you have ADB and Fastboot installed. Then you're going to need to tap, type in ADB space devices and press enter so we can start the ADB service. You'll see that it says Dame started successfully. Once you have enabled the ADB service, you'll need to go ahead and plug the Redmi Note 3 Pro into your computer with a micro USB cable. You'll get this prompt asking if you want to allow USB debugging access. Tap on the Always Allow option, and then tap OK. Then you're going to need to go back into the command prompt and type the command ADB space reboot space EDL. Once you type all that, you just go ahead and press Enter. And you're going to see your Redmi Note 3 Pro reboot and go to a black screen. Once you type and execute that ADB reboot EDL command, the screen on your Redmi Note 3 Pro will be black as it has rebooted and is no longer in Android. And the only visual indicator that you'll see that you are in emergency download mode is the blinking notification light at the top right. If you did everything right, you will see it blinking red constantly. Even if you take...
Now if you take the USB cable out, then it will stop blinking. But this is an indicator that it is connected to the computer and it is in emergency download mode. This is the point where you'll want to use the toolkit or Mi Flash or whatever else you're going to use to install a new firmware, unbrick your device, or whatever else you need to do from EDL mode. Now if you're just testing this or for some reason you cannot get out of this mode, just go ahead and unplug the USB cable and then simply press and hold on the power button and then after about five to ten seconds you're going to notice the device reboot and then it's just going to take us back into the regular Android operating system